Okay, that's the sun. I'm telling y'all, as soon as I said sun, sat down, I instantly started blasting that. Like, you're not here for their amusement. You heard what she said. We're not here for your entertainment. She, you don't you don't really want to mess with me tonight. It's good. I think the attitude you have developed is is how how exactly can I say this? This is a how do I say this? A times ten version of self worth. This is a mixture, I'm gonna say that a mixture of self worth, a mixture of boundaries. Self-respect, okay? Healing from past pain. You didn't let that shit go. You have moved on and you nailing stuff right in the butt. Like, you're not about to act delusional. You're not about to be acting delusional. You're not about to act like you don't see nothing. You're not about to become submissive to an illusion. You're not about to stay in this... Uh, box anymore like you didn't burst out you you i don't even want to call you a phoenix because i'm still stuck on the butterfly that you became because of the work you went through you went through a lot of work bro yeah i didn't mean to call y'all bro why i call y'all bro and i hate it i hate that word i feel like y'all went through a lot you went through a lot, but you have prevailed. You have healed. I mean, you ain't perfect, because name one motherfucker that is. I think you have prevailed. You have overcome. You have you have stood your course. You have really showed your derriere. You have made it be known that you're not dealing with this no more, okay? You got your own bank account. You're stable. You're established. And I don't care who think you need to be doing better or you doing too much. You doing you at a pace that you're happy. Period. Okay? Stop putting a time frame on how, oh, I got to I gotta have this car by this day. I told everybody I was going to have it by this day. You shouldn't have told everybody. You should have shut the fuck up. Didn't I tell you to shut the fuck up months ago? Shut up. Shut the hell up. Anyway, you, you getting it done, though, because the thing is, you know how people just leap. This is somebody who didn't pay their rent, but when they got a car, and now they're going crazy because now they got to choose between the car and the rent. That's, that's the people who run running around now, but see, when you do it, you're going to be damn near paid off because you're doing the necessary work to get what you want. You're not trying to bring something else to the table and mix it with headache and, and have headache and confusion connected to it. No, you bringing something to the table that's going to be of value. Oh, I remember that song. Love somebody. Ooh, love see me change. Love that's giving me some. I wonder that come on afterwards. She just pissed me off. Like, I was in the moment. Here you go with this crap. Okay, what's the energy? I was gonna do past, present, and future. I'm still, I'm still kind of feeling that. What's the past, present, future energy for Cancer Leo Cup? That that was the past. But you know, this can be in any order. It could be. This could be the present. It's the future. This the outcome you don't even see. Okay, this outcome I don't even see. What's some past, present, future energy for the ancestors for Cancer Leo Cup? You got the fourth archangel out here. Raphael, Raphael, cause you know it's over. I think in the middle of a, a new love, a new situation, it came to a abrupt end because you realize this person was full of their own self. Mm -hmm. Somebody was projecting, blaming you, saying you was the problem, the garden of the gate. And we all know those doggone contracts is over. Uh, the retrograde is out of here too. What we got two more days and it's officially gone. You know the mist. You know I, I believe in the mist. The mist is what clouds your judgment. Cause you know mist is cloudy, so it clouds your damn judgment. So they'll come back a week or three days before the retrograde. And I believe in the retrograde. I don't give a damn nobody say. I study it. I watched it and I trans translated it into my doggone life. And I've seen it, and I even have. I realized this. I really realized this. Like, seriously, y'all. 
I have a karmic toxic cousin and I have to accept that, okay? I, I'm getting through my head. I'm forming a level of acceptance with that because she was like my go-to cousin. And then I know, you know what? I'm going to miss something else. I have this crazy connection with fire signs. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. My best friend was a fire sign. Me and Leo's can get along for about a good 20 minutes. And Aries, I have learned to not go into their delusional world with them. Like, um, I'm going to keep it real. Aries are bona fide delusional to me. And certified and stamped officially yesterday because it's like, do you not see yourself? I, it's like they have no understanding of who the hell they even are or what they even doing. I ain't here to talk about nobody. But let's, well, well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a time stamp on each sign one day. It's probably going to be on the other page. Don't come for me. And I didn't put the Twin Flame video on the other page either. So, shout out to everybody who did watch the Twin Flame video. But, um, and I'm going to tell y'all how I feel about each one of them. What, year to day. A little from my studies and a little from my, uh, own personal experiences. Because the one thing I wish people would do about um, Cancer Leo, I mean about astrology science is you do have to differentiate the masculine and feminine energy. Because the feminine side is this way and the masculine side is that way. You can't, you can't run them all together. Give me some more energy. So it looked like this is recent past, honestly. This is like you to have some type of recent past, but you, you're headed towards or you're living in this happy family. You're happy. You're content. Or this could be you in the future being happy and content with, with your family overall because you have formed it. You created it. And your family could be something as simple as you and your dog, you and your cat, you and just one child, whatever. You're not about to stress over that one child that's, that's just going to forever hate you. You're just leaving it alone at this point. You're just moving forward and basking all the love you have left into the child that actually uh, receives your love, under, takes the time to understand your love. Because a lot of us get twisted up over these kids to the point that we, we lose ourselves trying to constantly please a kid that... At a certain point, they have to take responsibility for their own unhappiness in life. They can't blame you because you didn't tie their shoe in second grade in 1934 and they failed the whole class laughed at them. They can't, like, you can't blame that on why you won't take your dusty but the word. Yes, kids become dusty. The hell? Everybody, I will never with my child. I will never. You and they don't ever tell me no freaking never. You ain't never don't even know what you talking about until you ready to bust them upside their head and, and drag them down the stairs. No, don't don't listen to that. Reverse that. <laughs> but you know the visualizations you have because when you think about it, the kids, the stuff these kids do now, what the heck? I will be petrified. I think I would have been petrified of my mama more. My daddy always came in. Dun, 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 dun. Leave my baby alone. Oh, they wasn't that bad. That was my daddy. My mama. Whoa, 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 whoa. She ain't care. She ain't care. If she caught you, you were done. And listen, my mama had an aim, right? She could pick up Jesus. Out of clear blue sky, she would pick up Jesus and dart it and knock you dead upside your head. And you'd be like, how did she do that? How did she do it? I remember she did it to my brother. She did it to everybody in the house. I think she did it to my daddy, too. My daddy said some slash shit and thought he was about to skirt. Shit. Anyway, fourth chakra, Archangel Joe Ralph. Love, compassion, and self acceptance Didn't I just tell you that? Didn't I fucking just tell you? You in a point. You in a phase. You on a level of you accept who you are, right? And if you wondering why all of these hoes and bros then is clinging to your ass, this is why they want that. They want to be that confident. They want to accept who they are, good, bad, 
ugly. They want to accept when they was a hoe in 1936. They want to accept when they was rich and went broke in, in, in 2020. They wants to know. They wants to know your secret. They want to know how was you slandered all through the city. How are you this witch? How is you this demon, this demonic force that everybody that say you is? And you shining this damn bright. It's pissing them off. They want to know how the hell was you able to have that much sorcery darted at you? And who is the motherfucker that blocked it? How can they tap or channel into that doggone, um, into that, uh, what I'm trying to say, y'all? ancestor who is that ancestor you called on to come help you do that now remember i told y'all some videos ago you got to go get the ratchet ancestors sometime and then no sooner than i said it what's that movie came out black panther 2 remember she had to go to the ratchet ancestor her ratchet cousin had to go to that ratchet cousin and what he say you ain't mad enough so y'all wasn't mad enough before y'all wasn't y'all wasn't mad enough for now you mad. You were so all nice. Well, I'm not going to hurt his feelings. I'm going to let him spend the night. Since he said him and BM is over. So I'm going to let him spend the night. And that's thing you know, you didn't endure three months of physical and mental abuse. Because they never left. And they still playing with baby mama. Now you like, you smell him. And then it's like, nah, bro. Uh-uh. Go on head on. Like, please get off my porch, leave my house, leave the neighborhood. How about doing that? Or she didn't sit up there and she just spent the block again on you. She just tried to make you feel bad. Just tried to sit. This is one thing I despise that women do. I'm not going to lie. I'm, t I'm telling y'all. I'm coming for y'all. When y'all sit up there and tell another man, or tell your child's father how another man going to take care of the child better than them. I'm still trying to figure that out. Like, how? I don't care because a lot of people look at raising a child as strictly financial. They don't look at the emotional side of raising a child. How the hell as this other man, not saying that another man can't take care of someone else's child or another woman. I'm not saying that. I'm saying when the women throw it in a man's face that they about to have another man in their child's life because he won't get her no money. Or he won't be with her. Or he won't kiss her dairy ear. Like. I wish. A heifer would have said that to my brother. Because now I'm going to court with him. We, we, we taking him. How about that? And it came out upright. Rapid says a beautiful green energy. Surrounded by gentle waves of pink. To your heart center. This car upright indicates that you now have a greater reach. Readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. Okay, I gotta leave that right there, y'all. I almost broke a tear. Woo! Shit. Just give me a second. Because y'all remember the reading earlier, right? The King of Cups was the first thing that came out. And everybody after it, you was rejecting. Because they was all in reverse. And you had time for a mini away. Like, I don't have time. You're not here for their entertainment, Okay. Why did you waste my time? That's 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 how you feel. And that's how I feel too. The tender vibrations of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk that you desire to hear from others. Know that as you do, the light from your heart center will shine with the ir irresistible beauty and the universe will send people in situations that cause your sense of love and support to grow. Who shit, spirit, come on now. Ooh, it's too early. And what is I saying about the twin flame reading? When you ascend, they ascension people come in. Higher value and quality people come in. The then we got the garden and the gate. I use this deck in a long time now. Don't judge me. And I'm sorry, I be trying to do them 25, 30 minute videos, but I'm not one of those people. So so sorry. Abundant prosperity is staying safe. Y'all, y'all so messy. Okay, y'all just so messy. I love it. 
This card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautiful blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears a key on a chain around her. This card upright bodies well for the financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time, but be aware. The choice to stay in the scene security of this lovely garden may actually be motivated by habit or a fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. Mm. While it's, it's fine to amass a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective, and gain a world that is just outside your gate. So, you know how I feel about that? Anybody interested in moving, relocating, anything like that, you have the qualities, the abilities, and the okay, the spiritual okay to move forward. You really do. You have this okay to guide you and to move you forward and, excuse me, for you to be great. You have it. You have everything that you even need. You, you're not, you, it's, it seems like something has ran you into seclusion because you fear a lot of people. I, I feel like a lot of y'all don't trust, even though you willing and you ready and you open, you don't have that 100% trust factor with humans at that. Like you probably an animal person. That's why y'all here in the garden with the white butterflies. Anybody seen white butterflies? You got the birds out here. What is this, this bush? Even in her eyes, you can tell how she wants to go out there, but she just refused to take the risk or she's thinking about taking a risk. I ain't going to say refuse. I tell you to take the risk and for you to self accept, self accept, accept yourself now. I think you're willing to take the risk, but I won't go. I can't figure it out on my own. If it's my love, then what is? I'm willing to take the risk. That's your karmic path. You got to head to your karmic path. You're restricting yourself. But I think you will. I really feel that you're going to take a, a leap. See, the difference between... A lot of people is your your um what's the word I'm trying to you're strategic. I think you're in Queen of Swords energy while loving and nourishing. You're in Queen of Swords energy because you really really thinking of a master plan. You're not impulsive. You don't just jump and execute. You don't seek instant gratification. Like I said in the beginning, hi. You have to take a minute. You plan it. It's like planning the escape, and that's what I believe y'all are doing. Planning your escape. Or uh, the direction you're going in. What's this past, present, future energy for in that sector? For my Cancer Leo Cubs. Mirror, mirror, uh, illusions, ego, and insecurity. What you mean, child? Where's all the other ones you got? <laughs> tell me, tell me. Past, present, future energy to cancel the other. Why y'all ain't right here? I ain't know this. It's a timing. And we have mountain. Ain't no mountain high in the adventure came out in a whole new world. Y'all, I'm tripping today. <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Illusions, ego, and insecurity. I think this will possibly keep y'all stagnant in the um the beginning. Y'all had to go through some type of um transformation, some type of realization. Oh, this might not even be y'all. Uh... Yeah. 
No, I feel like this was y'all. Y'all had a big ego about something, someone, or something. Something caused a big ego between you, I mean, with yourself. But that ego, to me, was a um, shield for your insecurities, okay? You know what I want to do? Somebody called, got mad at me for I told them. I told them they was delusional. And then... Somebody followed it up with them, and they tried to say, I put it in their head, but the crazy part, they said, I put it in their head, and I don't even talk to them motherfuckers, so how did I put it in their head? It's it's not it's not hard to recognize. It's a, a thing that is or is likely to be wrongly perceived and interpreted by the sense. So, I was right. You are wrongly, you have wrongly was that delusion or illusion? Oh, I said it was delusional. But that was illusion. You 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 could have in a relationship, because this is the first one came out. I'm putting it next to the family. Family was the first one that came out. So you wrongly could have perceived that this person or this relationship or this whatever, or you was in a happy family dynamic, honestly. You did. You perceived it. Your ego caused you to do it. Your insecurity caused you to do it. All of this caused you to be... <laughs> it caused you to believe that something was going on that wasn't. To a certain degree, I really believe the ego is in the center of both of this. Your insecurity and your illusions. Because you wanted to be the winner. You wanted to be the one that was chosen or something. And I think you broke free of that mindset. Because being chosen is, to me, a mindset that the world has spewed upon a woman. Oh, if a man chose you to be his wife, you of some type of quality. I was quality before he chose me. I was quality before he even wanted me. I was quality. That's the reason why he looked at me. But the thing is, we are really, really taught the Cinderella con concept. We are from birth, from Disney. Disney taught us to be Cinderella our whole life. We some some damaged ass princess because what happened to Cinderella? She was so damaged, battered, and abused, but she kept her pure heart. Like fuck out of here, Cinderella ain't keep no damn pure heart because after she ran off with the prince, what did she do with that damn sister and that step mama? Ditched them. Mm hmm. How much you want to bet? They need to do a story on that. Let's keep it real around here. She ditched them. And I realized, I really realized, people don't want to hear the truth. That's why you, you getting a personal reading from me, you got to get the thick skin. Because y'all already know, I don't do readings outward. I'm not about to blame everybody else unless in the card is coming out confirming to somebody else and what they did. But other than that, you're going to have to take accountability in these fucking readings now, goddammit. I'm not about to kiss your butt. Characterized by or holding false beliefs of judgments about external reality that are held despite inconvertible evidence to the contrary, typically as a symptom of mental condition. I said that. I said, I kept telling people that's a mental condition. And they kept saying, that's not a mental condition. Being delusional is a mental condition if you're choosing to keep being delusional. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to say? I'm not retarded. What that dude say? I wasn't born yesterday. This isn't reality TV. <laughs> Child, listen. I'm I, I'm putting I'm patting myself on the back because they tried. Well, she tried it. You're not looking at the reality of the situation. You you repeatedly, and I mean repeatedly. So I'm going to tell y'all because it it happened to a family member. It did and. It's like, I got to a point that I didn't care. I don't want to hear your story no more. Like, it's choosing to stay out of something or stay to yourself or not want to hear something that's been drained you previously. Then It's nothing wrong with that. And don't let nobody convince you that it is. Because if you don't want to hear, some, some people like to stay stuck in toxic relationships. That's the only means of conversation. Okay? That's the only conversation they actually have is to be sitting up here 
steady talking about how they man, uh, excuse me, in this case, they husband, he did all of this with the name of your certificate, your marriage certificate. It's okay for you to accept it. And um, I had said, well, marriage ain't a flex no more because people don't respect the union of marriage. It's so easy to blame out. And what I mean by blame out, I mean a wife blaming a side chick. Whether she knew about you or not, she not obligated to give a damn about you in this marriage. Another thing I was trying to teach people, stop worrying about, do you have any self-respect? Do you have self-respect? Because now that you have the evidence that he's with this other woman, do you have enough self-respect to leave? No. So stop asking this other woman, do she have self-respect? Because you don't know what her moral compass is or her moral belief is. Some of them don't give a damn. They out for self-gain. So if they got to screw your husband because your husband dumb enough to fall to it, how's that hurt his, her fault? Even you sad dudes, how is it y'all fault? How is it their fault because you lack enough respect to walk away from a marriage that has repeatedly, not just one time, not no time, at any time, period. Because when you got your car note and you don't pay that note, that you get a warning or you they seized it. You get points on your credit. So for people to constantly give a chance after chance at the disease, that yeah, I found out, they go after chance after chance at the disease at the disease with people like, and think because of the name in the name of marriage that is justified. And then what you and for you Christians when you get to the pearly gate and spirit asks you what the hell was you doing, or God asks you what the hell was you doing, who told I never told you to deal with this. Y'all gonna be looking stupid at y'all little pearly gate. Past, present, present. Past, present, future energy. You got dice out here, rolling baby. You got a mask. Uh, um. I think that's mass. That's 39, 40, and we got 32. In my heart, I love so much joy. Lesson, lesson, lesson. I am the risk, the gamble you choose to take. I am the uncertain and the leap of faith. I offer the promise of future change, possibly negative cards to my right. Will foretell, excuse me, foretell ill fate, but positive cards will bring about a happy state, period. Mass, look deep into your soul for whose amusement do you play? Didn't I just say that? I'm not here for your entertainment. Come on now. I project your emotions or hide them. When I land to your right, I bring joy to the light. But if I my presence is to the left then something something is in sight come on melancholy i don't know melancholy holy i can't be the face to suit any occasion all parts i can't play the truth or disguise i am your creation Ooh. You know that fell that fell next to um Archangel uh, Love, homeboy Raphael ass. Somebody have disguise and love. Oh, I didn't even finish reading these. It's divine timing has come in. The countdown has begun for you to choose to change yourself or to start pursuing happy relationships. I think I really believe the divine timing is at play. Spirit is telling you it's all right to date again. It's all right to lead with a pure heart. Because although you probably went through a hard time, you now are able to, like I said, see what's not good for you and exit love so you can make mature adult decisions. And um, mature adult decisions referring to the heart meaning in a relationship you know the signs and you know how to set a boundary uh be, without letting things get out of place or going too far the moon love and romance intuition and psychic abilities imagination and creativity are 
but a few of the ideas I stand for. I reach across the sky and influence the waters. I am admired all around. I bring fame. I bring honors. Oh, God, yeah. This is recognition by others. So you probably got supporters, friends, family, a lot of people coming in and start helping you more than they ever did. Being there more than they ever did. This could be just people actually seeing your worth and your value now and really, really miss or feeling sorry for how they treated you. People do feel sorry for how they treated you now. But... It's some type of thing coming towards you once you move this mountain because the mountain came out in reverse. You can take it how you want, though. Obstacles, difficulty, and challenges is behind you. You probably still, I'm not saying everything is good or in go. I'm just saying you might have little obstacles. Like your car might not start one day, but then you find out it's something so simple and minor, and then you back and run it again. This is just spirit way of seeing how you handle it, how you take it. Also, this is spirit letting you know always have some money set off. For obstacle. And I know in your dark times, sometimes you ain't got no money to set off. Trust me. Good, God damn it. Good. Y'all know more business than my family. <laughs> Maybe messages. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Man, it was a screaming match on this block yesterday. I think every house thing got into it with a child yesterday. The neighbor that got into it. I don't even care for my neighbors now. Not them was over there. But they straight went in on somebody. And the kids, see, my nosy ass was listening. See, me and Zena was listening, right? And come to find out, somebody, kid got, the kids got took. And I was like, oh, no, which ones? How about they none that been running? Because I, I don't hate on no kids. I don't give them like your mama and I. I'm not about to. I don't do that shit, okay? I don't get involved. I, I don't put kids in stuff or nothing like that. It don't have nothing to do with children. It's like when aunties get mad at each other and stuff like that. Oh, you can't see my kids. Look at It's a dusty hoe. Anyway, but that's what had happened there down the street. Somebody walked up in her fucking house, bitch. They walked in in her house. She cussed them. She cussed them out better than me. And then somebody tried to tell her to chill out. And I felt every word, every cuss word she said. How you gonna tell me to chill out? That's how she started. How you gonna tell me to chill out and you walked in my mother yo dumb that's all you heard. That's all you heard. <laughs> Coughing dead. It's over. End is new beginnings. Past, present, and future energy for cancer Leo Cups. Growth, change, liberation, and transition. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. I took a sip of your tea and I ain't been right ever since. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, separation, break up, feelings lost, grieving, and mourning. You little Thank you, butterfly. So, didn't I just tell you? Then I just don't fucking tell me, okay? Don't tell me. I don't know what I be talking about in the name of what I be talking about. The butterfly is here. This speaks of a relationship evolving. I don't know. Y'all might be in a relationship. It might be evolving. I don't know. And it say to the next level, and healing the inner child and growth. It's more than just relationships to relationships, not stinky. Oh, yes, I told you. You ended something. You finally ended something. You're transitioning. You're seeking liberation. But it's not you're receiving liberation, but you received it already in the ethers. So you don't really care what everybody else thinks. That's why you have this self-acceptance card. Because you don't care what people think. Because you already knew what was upon you. It was up to them to catch up to you. You wasn't the one delayed. That's why when they start running back sometimes, sometimes, calm down, sometimes, they see what you already seen. It's a lot of people going to make excuses saying they didn't see. I don't know. I'm not as fast as you. You you got it faster. I'm going to tell you this. If you have somebody like me in your life helping you understand things and you still choose to go left, you're your own problem, okay? You're your own heart. Hot head, you're your own know-it-all. Even though you have free will, but why would you sit up there? And if I tell you, I walked on them damn dots before and my feet burned. 
it burnt the hell out of my feet and you go walk on it any old way. And you be like, and it's usually something like, I see what you saying, I see what you said, and then I find out you the one that walked on them and now your feet gone. And that's a hard lesson to learn. And you wonder why you got it 10 times worse than the original person who did it. Because people don't pay attention to the signs. People don't pay attention to what the ethers came and bought you. You, I was the little birdie in your ear that told you not to do it and you did it any old way. So now you got to deal with the fact that you're goofy but did it anyway. Then I'm going to find out. Not only am I going to find out, you also going to find out this spirit handed you your derriere for being hard-headed because they sent you a warning and you ignored it. You put stipulations on a warning because you felt like, oh, well, she's a, she's one of those witches, so I'm not going to listen. Or she's jealous. You know, that's people's favorite line, child. Lord, I'm just, let these people tell it. I'm jealous of everybody. Half of the people I don't know and the people I do know, why would I be jealous of you? And if you want to compare me to any woman in the damn Bible, I wanted a woman, what they call them? The celibate women. The celibate women had no power over them. No man could be, they was actually higher than a lot of men. Did you know that? Did y'all know that? Did y'all know the woman who, um, it was a particular woman. I forgot what the name they actually called her. But she was the one that didn't, no man can control her. Okay, I, I'll get back to y'all on that. That'll be another reading. But no man was able to control her or she didn't have to submit to nobody. She didn't want to have her own store, her own house. She had her own anything. And she was a rider. She was a dog on rider. She would beat your ass, too. She had her own little team of people who would beat, beat your ass. Oh, it's a real shit. Give me one card for happy family. Spit in there, Texas. For cancer Leo cups. We doing some tarot now, y'all. Since we didn't oracle ourselves to death. I should have kept oracling it out. <laughs> you don't want to work today, honey? What's the matter? <laughs> and we have the five of pentacles in reverse. I'm, look at this. Look how it sprinkled me, baby. Sprinkle me, baby. You sprinkling it on your finances and your karmic debt. You are. You fixing your finances, you fix your 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 karmic debt, your any debt you're climbing out of it. Emotional debt. You know people have emotional debt, mental debt. You got debt, okay? You clearing your name. You upping your credit score, baby. Listen, why don't y'all co-sign for me? <laughs> Anybody ever seen piano lessons? When wine and boy was like, oh, let me have five dollars. <laughs> Y'all ain't fun. Y'all be watching the good movies. Tell me about happy family. Happy family. Give me one card for happy family. Oh, she said, you be doing too much. High priestess is in reverse. See, you know what this feel like? It looked like something came out. I just was about to spirit look. Page of Swords and a Page of Wands. It, I don't know how it came out. Something came out. Good, bad, or ugly. Something was said. Something came out. Something was found out. Somebody was hiding. And it's been fucking revealed. Somebody talking. Somebody talking. I'm not giving y'all too much, okay? Somebody started talking about this fake-ass happy family somebody want to think they in. You possibly could have thought. It's probably a Pisces. You probably could have thought. Somebody then went off to have a happy life, a happy family, and they trying to portray like everything good over here. We straight, we this and this and that and that. Somebody is trying to perceive to you that they're in some type of happy family dynamic. Baby, it's a whole op. Tell me about this mirror, mirror energy. It's all a fake. It was all a dream. The Ten of Swords in reverse. Look at this. This is something you're healing from. You're getting over this. You're recovering from the illusion, the ego, and the insecurity. Or this could be somebody who left a happy family with you and went towards an illusion, a fake dream, a fake facade. 
uh, eagle stroking. They went to stroke their dog on eagle because they had to roll a dice on you and this person. That's what they did. They rolled the dice on you and this person and they went towards something that was a secret was hidden. Something was hidden within this situation. I believe it was. They had to roll a dice. Tell me about these dice, spirit and ancestors. Nine of Wands, it, it, it burdened them. They was in for the fight of their life. From the moment they left you, it was the fight of their life. This is in reverse. This most definitely could be somebody in your past that you dealt with. Who intuition is distorted. It's jacked up. They're destroying everything around them. Now they're in some type of uh, recovery. Shit, this is like my cousin. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like they finally wake it up to what's going on and they have been blocked. It's like, okay, coughing. Tell me about this coughing spirit and ancestors for Cancer Leo Cup. Queen of Wands. Ooh. Either they didn't end things with this Queen of Wands or you this Queen of Wands. Somebody wants this new beginning. And then I'll tell you another thing. You ended this kind of behavior. This confusion. You healed. You recovered. Okay. Now you're standing your grounds and in your power. And now you the fattest bitch they ever seen. Looking like a ghetto queen. Or this is someone who has finally ended things with this doggone queen of wands. Okay. It's coughing. It's dead. It's an ending. It's over with. Whoever the queen of wands is. I don't know. But the, it possibly could be you after your transaction transition you on fire you popping you busy you making the dough you out here in these streets okay period that's what i'm saying period give me a card for self to self self accepting spirit and ancestors i think this self esteem eight of swords i think this is eight of swords You must have been beating yourself up in the head. Somebody must have been talking down on you. This is someone that seemed like they tried. It seemed like you were belittled. You were attacked. Somebody constantly said you wasn't good enough. I, why would I be with you? Uh, we not going to work out. They constantly did that, but they would never leave you alone. You, I can't stand people like that, y'all. I can't stand them. Yeah, it looked like you were mentally abused or you tried to see things the way you wanted to see things. You wanted to. And then into a sense, you victimized yourself. Because you didn't love yourself just yet. You hadn't got to that point where you was in that self-love, self-respect and self-acceptance energy. I think a lot of y'all band-aided and hid your emotions. You didn't express stuff to people because it seemed like... Or I feel like you didn't express it because they already even showed you how they moved. Tell me about time and spirit and ancestors for Cancer Leo Cup, past, present, future. Nine Pentacles, goddamn. The world is in reverse. This is some unfinished business. I know y'all heard that before. It's like, it's not over with somebody. Either somebody, because of course it's two sides. I'm going to do two sides. You are in someone's head. Okay. Hard. You is. You banging in their head. They're criticizing their self. They're keeping their self trapped. With this mental entrapment that they're enduring with their self because they're trying to find a way to do so. Tell me about this mask, spirit and ancestors. What is this mask for past, present, and future? Judgment. Ooh. That's karma. Five of cups, regret. Yes. I'm, I have to say, this could be somebody you're currently dealing with and there's some type of regret because they're facing judgment but they're not done they don't think it's over with you you two you could be masking that you really have made this decision and move on and they're unaware or you just made this decision you're trying to 
It seemed like it okay, look, it looked like a game is being played between you and somebody the hell else. That's what's going on. It's like you're masking your feelings. So this person doesn't get in and see how you really feel, but you would actually offer them another chance if they came correct. I don't know. Y'all be getting on my nerve with this shit. Tell me about this heartbroken. The three of cups is in reverse. Oh shit. <laughs> three of cups. Y'all know what this is. This person is probably getting this person all outside high and drunk. They deeply hurt. Or you were really hurt about this person dealing with a third party possibly. Mm. Tell me about this. Uh, The garden and the gate for Cancer Leo Cups. The Ace of Swords. Clarity, clarity, truth, honesty. Now the butterfly is really flying. Two of Pentacles, love, work, balance, family, work, balance. Six of Pentacles, just a balance. This is just double balance. You see things clearly now. You're not sacrificing for people no more with this hey man in reverse. I think you're done waiting. You're not waiting on people. You're not sacrificing yourself. You're not waiting on somebody to see the big picture or see your value and your worth. You don't see it? Okay, boo. I'm out. I'll holla at you. Tell me about this mountain in reverse. I'm not here for your entertainment. I'm not here for you to play around. I'm not here. And, and I got to say this, okay? It's a lot of men out here looking for women to treat them as if they are their child. And then it's a lot of women out here with this sick notion that men can't have blockages in their finances and like men are solely here to just give you money <laughs> they do and then if they don't got it that girl called that nigga a broke bmf -er. because he didn't want to get her that drink y'all all drink that tequila my casa me goes that he wouldn't get her a fifth i was in the liquor store like <clears throat> Turned around and went down the street to another liquor store. Like, y'all, they lost y'all dog on mine in here. Like, he a broke B mother effer. But he just got you and your babies. Because you know he started airing her out. Six hot and ready's. <laughs> First of all, how many babies you got for six hot and ready's? And second of all, you know how many food stamps you probably got? What did you do? Sell them to get Casamigos? And third, what really makes you think that's his job to get you drunk? Tell me about this mountain. Two of Swords is in reverse. What? This is confusion to me. This feel like straight conf confusion. Somebody can look, bro. Let me alone. It look like somebody's confused, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. Somebody is really much so confused. They don't know which way to do. This is that indecisive energy. You could be confused on which path to take, but it's like the. Give me another card for this uh, mountain. I want to say somebody sent this confusion to you. Not the wine. You ain't confused no more. You know which way you're going and you headed there. Nothing is stopping you. You're not accepting no challenges, no difficulties, no delays, no heartache, no headaches, no nothing. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Okay? Three of wands. See, you waiting on your ship to come and you going in. You out of here. You got probably some unfinished business. It probably is something you need to take care of. It's probably somebody you need to face. Remember I told you sometimes that cord cutting shit, it don't work. It's an illusion to me. A cord cut because you just, like, what are you fucking, not, not coming, not coming for nobody's spirituality, but you cut. So, so say for instance, you cut the cord, right? And they show up at your door. Was the cord cut? Did you do it right? What, did you manifest wrong? Was it under the full moon, waxing moon? Like, what are you supposed to be doing? The best cord cutting is facing it head on. Just like this night of wands. Facing it head on and really making it stick, okay? Set your boundaries, stand your ground, and make it stick. 
and if in the end it brings heartache to them, that's not your fucking business, okay? Go on with your heal, heal, heal mother nature ass. No, it's not your business to worry about all of the pain that they are dealing with because the pain they are dealing with is nothing but karma, karmic justice being restored. Because for you to get to that point, something had to happen to you by their hands. And now they're getting the same energy back to you, but in a different form. Same energy, different person. Come on, now, Stinky. Come on, Stinky. Tell me about this moon energy, Spirit and Ancestors. The magician is in reverse. Somebody trying to block your spotlight. Why the magician in reverse? Yeah, uh uh, uh -huh. I'm about to get to the bottom of this. Why is this magician? Look, they trying to do shit to you. A fool tried to come out Aries, double Aries to me. Tell me about this musician in reverse to cancel the old cup. The nine of cups, probably a Scorpio trying to stop you, trying to block you. Somebody wants you to be alone. Didn't I tell you these people out here trying to figure out that I sent all of these spells and that spells is one of these obstacles and difficulties you was having. The Nine of Cups stands on their own. The Nine of Cups is single and emotionally fulfilled and baby, somebody don't like it. That you are content being alone. It's like some type of wish is coming true. Somebody is wishing that you have these delays and blockages and they want you to have bad dreams and stuff like that. But it didn't come true to them. That it was actually blocked. Something was blocked. This not this magician energy didn't phase you. I told y'all, didn't I? I told y'all somebody is trying to cause a blockage, a delay. Somebody's trying to send you in that energy you was in the, in the last year, beginning of this year. They're trying to send you in that energy again because they're trying to stop you. But they don't understand your, manifested, your manifestations that you seek is coming to flourishing. You are going up from here. The only way you can be stopped is if you delay yourself. You might be drained, you might be tired, but you get up every day wondering where you got the energy from, but you already know where it came from. You manifest the uh, energy just like you manifest the healing. You ask for all of these, these fruitful, beautiful, abundant things, and you had to put in the work to get it. And now you're putting in the work to get it. You see the revenue coming in. You see everything that's evolving right before your freaking eyes. Somebody's trying to stop it because somebody is manipulative and jealous of your happiness. No matter how much you think you ain't got nothing going on, you shit. You the butterfly. Someone doesn't want whatever relationship you're in or entering to be successful. And and then above all with this nine of cups, you're blocking all this negative shit anyway. Like, no, 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 no. You have a sense of protection around you and your domain. Like I just told you, your car might go out. You might find out the motherfucker only going to charge you $100 to do the shit and the part only 50 Baby, here, 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 here. Because you are already abundant. You are already running it the hell up. So it's nothing to you, huh? You even buy my cookie. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't like your calmness because they're they're expecting rage they want rage drama and confusion you show any of that you giving them what they want Queen the swords you cut that bullshit out you cut it out you cut that miserable shit out tell me about this butterfly spinning ancestors for cancer leo cups somebody most definitely is trying to stop you from a connection. I don't know what this connection is about. We got a strength here. Leo energy. It could be a Leo. I don't know. Your Leo side is ascending. Oh, we need to go check on Leo Cancer Cups. Because if they're ascending and you ascended, baby, that's a fool. you Because <laughs> remember that one time I was up there saying something is going on. Like something is, is dragging and sagging along. Then we go over there and leave Leo reading and all hell was breaking loose. And Leo, y'all probably be thinking all oh, hell breaking loose with us too. But shit, at the end of the day, 
the purest heart is that of a cancer. If we can keep it real, I'm not saying we picture perfect. Y'all get y'all create the illusions at that. But an, our initial approach is purity. We was bathed in water, the depths, the deep depths of the war. So we are led with purity. Not crybaby. Purity. That's the ignorance of tarot readers. That's the ignorance of people who think they know astrology. They really look at, oh, cancers is crybabies. If that's the case, all water signs are crybabies. You fucking dummy. Tell me about the strength card. So no weapon formed against you so it's prosper. You got two wish cards and you got the strength and you're fulfilling your wishes. Look at this. Look at this. You're filling your fucking wishes. It is. That Queen of Swords was at the bottom of the deck. You got a whole person out here. Nine of Cups out here. It's a whole Queen of Swords out here. It's, what is this? Four of Swords. Out here that's making sure everything you seek comes true. You summon one of your ancestors. Granny. I don't great, 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 granny. You you summon somebody who's highly powerful, more powerful than you think your granny. Whoever this Queen of Swords energy, they keep coming out. And every now and then, the King of Swords to come out. Y'all have a strong protection seal around y'all. Because the last readings for like over a month now, you have been strongly protected by an air sign. And soon as somebody come in with some bull, you straight up shh. You probably got multiple air signs in your ancestral uh, bloodline. Because no matter what these people say, no matter what these people do, you let them have it and you block them out. You're not interested in it. You're not entertaining it. You're not about to sit up here and talk to them all dog on day. Like I said, you're staying away from all the negativity. That's why it might seem like you're being trapped. I don't think you're trapped. I think you're planning. Like I said, I feel like you're planning to your next move. You're being strategic. You're using different kind of strategies before you execute. And I think you're going to fucking disappear on everybody and start a whole new world. I'm not lying. I don't think you're about to stay around and entertain this. Entertain these people. You have evolved too far past them. I really believe you're involved too fat, too far past these individuals to the point that you're not giving life to them anymore. No, I don't think you're giving life to this situation no more. These people, none of this no more. I don't think people could be trying to figure out. We don't do another reading on that. Well, give me a one card conclusion, spirit and ancestors, which I might have to clarify. Wait, I want to know something. Y'all want to know. What's the high priestess in reverse about? The four of cups. Regret. I think somebody regret not taking your offer. Somebody could be just plain old bored without you. Like, it was so fun with you. They probably regret saying you was boring, running off, doing some goofy stuff, and running off with this other person. Maybe this Queen of Wands was a third party. Let's find out. Who is this Queen of Wands? Seven of Swords. Oh. Told you that was the sneaky link. Or someone's trying to use you and make you a sneaky link. So they in regret for sneaking off, possibly going with this Queen of Wands. And that could have been the Three of Cups energy that caused you all or caused you and this person. I wouldn't feel like it was you and somebody else to be heartbroken. This damn mirror, mirror energy is somebody painting an illusion as they are better. Because this person had to secretly be in competition with you some type of way. This is some type of competitive energy. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, she was. Now they wind up in this Nine of Wands, a big defense towards this Queen of Wands. Damn. That's fucked up. People just need to. Ugh. What was the clarity? The Ace of Swords energy by Cancer Leo Cubs died. Yeah. The Nine of Pentacles. You, you're probably in the energy. I think you got 999. 
That's the Ten of Swords. Yep, nine, nine, nine. I think you realize that you better off on your own. You making it happen more on your own. Cause somebody asked me, do I still want to get married? The union of marriage now, I don't respect it, but I will accept a partnership. But like I say, sometimes to be a high priestess form, you have to be alone. Now don't get me wrong. The high priestess got her sneaky link now. <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Virgo energy with this nine of pentacles. You're an established woman on your own. You're going to be great. You're an established man on your own. Sorry. Y'all are established on your own. You're indecisive. And y'all could be in and out about a couple of things here and there. But that's what somebody's trying to spew on you. But you steam fast away from this kind of energy. What's the uh, conclusion here? One word conclusion for Cancer Leo Cups. And there we go. Five of Pentacles. I don't think you're even focused on commitment at this point. I think you're really focused on evolving. You might be coming out of hermit, flirting, hanging out and playing. But a stone hard commitment right now. I don't think you're interested. I think you're more focused on being successful within yourself. So you can attract that, that energy. Come on, Anita. After what you did. Uh-uh. Don't kick Brian McKnight off the stage, girl. Bah! Y'all hear about that? Anita basically, she did all her albums. And Brian McKnight never even did. Got to play. Anyway, I'm being nosy. I want to know one thing. What was his judgment? What's the judgment? The Three of Cups? I think if it was the Three of Cups, then that's what was exposed. The Sun in Reverse of Leo. Tell me about his judgment, Spirit and Ancestors. The seven of wands is in reverse. And the three of wands. So you got the sun is in reverse as this person's. Whatever happened, what? Because you could have felt like you was on the wrong side. I think manipulation caused you to enter into a heartbreak stage of grieving and pain and suffering in your past. Not only that, somebody painted an illusion. They did. To, the, the, the focus was to make you insecure. It was. That was the focus, was to make you insecure, to bring you down, to attack you, attack your ego, uh, make you delusional, make you seem stupid. But the vindication wasn't the win for them. So whoever tried to bring you down, whoever tried to attack you, whoever tried to make you seem like you wasn't worthy enough, you wasn't good enough, you didn't deserve them or that type of life, their, their, their karma is the fact that they will never get another a return with you. And that third party they ran off to who they thought that was going to be glitter and gold with pretty much returned the freaking energy, okay? Gave them that... that that was your uh, karma. Who they ran off to. Because I really feel like a lot of y'all tried to save this person for, from this, this Queen of Wands energy. Y'all tried to save them from her. Because really, on some real shit, this bitch is beautiful. She is. She beautiful. In some situations, she's business minded. But this woman cares so much about herself. She don't give a damn about you like that. They didn't. She didn't give a damn about them like that either. Or you. This egotistical motherfucker who tried to hide something from you. They didn't care about you. They wanted to go with the glitter and the gold. They didn't care about your emotions. They didn't care about how y'all could have been a unit. unit. Y'all could have been something out here in these streets. No, they didn't care about that. Well, damn, that's their bad. That that hurt you. It did. That hurt you. I feel like you waited on another try, a replay, or someone to see your value. And then you got to the point that you didn't care no more. You didn't care. Because they wore a mask. And the mask was exposed. And your heart was broken when you found out this person was running all around with this third party. So you probably came off as a bitter little witch. But it wasn't you, it was your defense. Well, it was you, but it was your defense mechanism because somebody will hurt you and keep coming in to start more and more and more and more confusion. That's when you went into that isolation. 
Okay, you protect yourself in your doggone garden and grew your abundance. You patiently waited for your garden to grow. Them people that seek instant gratification, that'll take anybody out to get what they want, will always end up what I always say at the bottom of the food chain. Just running around and around and around like a rat in a doggone cage. Running around and around and around and around in dumb ass circles, peace.